Hi, I'm Cynthia Khan, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with musician, actor, and filmmaker John Collins from the John Collins Band. Hey, John. Hey, Cynthia. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. How about you? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. <laughs> John, I just want to congratulate you on the success of your single and video for the breakup song, Don't Believe in You. It's so much fun. <laughs> Tell me yeah. the inside scoop about it. And uh, is it based on your own experience? Uh, well, <laughs> well, I find in songwriting, there's always a bit of truth and a bit of fiction. And uh, I think that's the case in this one too. I mean, I, I have certainly had a couple of breakups, uh, but uh, this this video is a little over the top. <laughs> so I didn't actually experience quite the things that are in this video, but uh, you know, the song definitely came from some some real place for sure. Well, I couldn't help but notice that your next single is called Breakup Day. So I'm uh, sensing a theme. <laughs> Tell us about this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a coincidence that these songs came out back to back. Um, but uh, yeah, the, they're both breakup songs uh, and both of them have a bit of uh, a fair bit of humor. You know, the thing is that like you can take these like serious topics and uh, you can make them really serious uh, or you can like do a little spin on them. And I felt like, you know, you know, we were having fun doing a little bit of spin on these topics. But the the Happy Breakup Day song is our next single. We're actually just finishing up the edit on that music video. And uh, it's, it's a, in some ways a little crazier than the last. But uh, uh, yeah, basically the premise is a guy who uh, realizes his relationship uh, isn't working. Uh, so to save face, he get, shows up at his girlfriend's uh, birthday party and sings her this song. <laughs> so it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a humorous premise. Oh no! I'm just, I just had a visual with that. So it was a lot of fun to shoot. We just actually had a, a three day shoot here in Los Angeles a couple of weeks ago. It was a, about 70 different uh, actors and extras and three different uh, large scale birthday parties. So I think, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I can't wait to see the video now. You really piqued my interest there. Plus the songs are so fun and up, they sound upbeat. <laughs> They're upbeat, yeah. I mean, this one's probably one of the most upbeat, kind of just straight on pop songs that we've ever done. A lot of fun. You've been involved in music since age six. The harmonica was your first instrument and you became a studio musician at the age 16. You started playing the club scene in college and I have no idea when you started singing, so why don't you give us a little bit of your music backstory? Well, I grew up in a really small town uh, in North Carolina. And in fact, uh, my father built a log house uh, because my mother uh, asked him to. And I grew up in a log house in the woods about six, seven miles outside the smallest or the nearest small town. And so there wasn't a lot to do <laughs> out there but my mother had a piano and she was a singer and she uh was an actress in her time as well uh before she had a family and um so about the age four on the piano uh we started singing uh uh disney songbook songs and learning the piano so i started singing at a really really young age um and so that's where I got my start when I was a teenager. I, yeah, I picked up the harmonica. I started with garage bands in high school. Um, there wasn't a lot to do in my small town. So playing music was like, uh, you know, it was like uh, activity and interest in hobby number one. Uh, and then in college, yeah, I was with a band called Still Life in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We were one of the more popular bands in, in that area. Uh, there was another band called Squirrel Nut Zippers you may have heard of that was also in the area. Uh, but we did a lot of the, uh, the uh, East Coast club scene when I was in college. And it just kind of like, uh, it kind of just, you know, grew from there. And I, I came out here to California 10 years ago. And, you know, it's been a, it's been momentum ever since. I can imagine it's quite different. <laughs> different? Oh, yeah. California? Yeah. <laughs> Things have changed a lot in the last uh, handful of years, for sure. 
you're an actor too. And you've been on such TV shows as Will and Grace and Scrubs, two of my faves. Are you yeah. still acting? Uh, well, I'm acting in our music videos. <laughs> 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 so there's that. Um, you know, I, I, I used to do more commercial work um, and some modeling and things like that as well. I just haven't had a lot of time to do acting because uh, uh, music is, a, is a, more than a full-time um, uh, business, you know, between the songwriting, being in the studio, uh, rehearsing for live gigs, doing music videos, touring, you know, it's, it takes up a lot of time. I have a lot of actors, uh, friends, I have a lot of directors and producers, I have a lot of people. It's really awesome out here in, in Los Angeles because there's so many creative people. And so there's a lot of projects that I'm kind of uh, involved with as advisories or uh, I've, I've done some writing outside the music industry, you know, and I'm always open for, for acting, the right acting opportunity that comes along. Um, but right now my acting is pretty much for the music videos that we're shooting. <laughs> well, you mentioned modeling and you are also a filmmaker, which you said that, and I'm assuming because of the way you've just spoken that music is your most passionate of all the pursuits? And yeah, no, tell me not, why. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it always has been. I mean, for me, music is just one of those things where, you know, the, the process of songwriting and the process of uh, performing is, is fulfilling in its own right. You know, it's like, I don't have to do any more than that to be happy. Now, obviously I have goals and, you know, I want to, you know, have standards and I have, Things I want to achieve, and hopefully, you know, share the music uh, and, and, the, and the creativity with as much people as possible. Um, but uh, it's just one of those things where you know I can I can do it uh, from now till you know the day I die and, and be happy just in the process the process of writing. Um, I did the, actually the, the, my did direct our last music video, so I'm wearing a couple of different hats. So, uh, but. Uh, you know, even in that process, you know, if, if, if it wasn't for the music, it just wouldn't be complete. So you got a passion for the music and the rest just falls into place around it. Yeah, pretty much. As you know, Amuse Now is about artists helping artists. And since you are involved in multiple activities around the creative arts, what advice do you have for other artists who are trying to make a name for themselves and pursuing multiple entertainment options do you advise picking one or do you think you can have it all wow I mean, that's a great question i mean i think that you know fundamentally any artist has to be true to themselves and it sounds a little bit like a cliche um, but you kind of have to uh, find your voice and know who you are and at the same time be kind of willing to change yourself around the periphery because there's always ways that we can improve what we do but um but I think finding your voice and really sticking to that, um, you know, I think as far as the question of you, can you wear many hats? I guess that really just comes down to the individual. Some people don't want to wear a lot of hats. I happen to be one of those people who likes to wear as many <laughs> hats as I can get my, my hands on because it's just a thrill. And any part of any creative process is, is, is exciting for me. So, um, you know, th this, type of, uh, this type of work is exhilarating. It's, it's something that's uh, no matter like uh, the ups and downs, you, uh, you have to be grateful for what you're doing because you get a chance to do what you love. And if you get a chance to do what you love, that's, you know, what else can you ask for? Well said. And I love the fact that you said you have to be grateful because that's what brings more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it seems so simple, but it's actually so true. Well, in addition to your new single coming out called Breakup Day. What is up next for John Collins? What is up next? There's so many things I'm doing. Uh, so we, we were finishing that video. Uh, it's going to be out in a couple of weeks. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> but uh, it is it is closed. Um, we're going to be releasing an EP of six songs that we uh, wrote over the last um, uh, over the last year. Um, including the singles, uh, Don't Believe in You and, and uh, Happy Breakup Day. Uh, and the other songs aren't all breakup songs. <laughs> there's, some actually, <laughs> there's some actually other topics in there as well. Uh, so that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, we are uh, rehearsing for uh, a new live show that we're going to be doing uh, with these songs, some of our older material off our last album. 
Uh, and uh, we're actually going back in the studio and uh, either this week or the following week, uh, writing new material. We have uh, about 10 new songs that uh, uh, me and uh, Chris Vasquez, my guitar player, have been working on, and we're going to take those in the studio. So, you know, between the studio and the rehearsing uh, and the promotion of these, uh, this new EP and these music videos, we're keeping ourselves pretty busy. But if you're going to be in the L.A. area, we're going to be doing shows pretty soon, so you want to keep an eye out for that. Terrific. I wish I lived closer. If you ever get up to Portland, which is not too far away, let me know. I'd love to come and see you live. We'll send you an Uber. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> we'll send you an Uber, and you can VIP to our next show. Awesome. <laughs> Well, John, I had a wonderful time and so much fun getting to know you better today. Thank you, Cynthia. This has been a blast. I wish you the best of luck on the release of your new single, your summer playing out in Los Angeles. And I hope that you come up to Portland so I can see you IRL in real life. Have well, a wonderful evening. <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusenow.com. <laughs>